Good evening everybody and welcome to this How I Painted video. Uh, today we're looking at this Death Watch Primaris Marine. Uh, this Death Watch hails from the Mantis Warriors chapter, uh, if the colours haven't given him away already. Um, I painted this guy as part of the Primaris Exchange project. He is the second one I've done. The first one being an Ultramarine. Um, but yeah, this uh, this was interesting because I hadn't painted a black Space Marine in a long, long time. And I have to say, it wasn't as bad as I remember. I had a few tips and the biggest one was don't actually start your base coat with black. I started with a very dark grey and I brought those Hilux, Toyota Hilux? <laughs> I brought those highlights up very, very gradually. I think we used about six or seven layers in total. I could have probably brought the highest highlight up a little bit further in the end to see if we can get a bit closer um but i'm happy with uh where we've ended up here uh the yellow that's always a fun color to paint isn't it i think i based that with an orange an old old uh, citadel foundation paint called macarius solar orange and then over the top of that i painted the uh base coat avaland sunset i think they call it and then did uh, some highlights on top of that. Uh, did a sepia wash. And then over the sepia wash, we uh, repainted the Overland Sunset. Did a few of highlights. And then did a glaze over it with the yellow glaze, which I am not 100% sure, sure even exists anymore. Um, I think they may have discontinued the glazers. So if anyone knows of any alternatives to the glazers, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so after that we did the green. I can't actually remember what shade green I used, but you know, green's not a hard color to paint. So uh, yeah, we won't worry about that one. Uh, Free-handed that chapter logo, as you can tell, it's not the best, but from uh, from arm's length there, it doesn't look too bad. You know, if you were gonna get close up, it doesn't look the best. But, you know, without any decals close to hand, that's the best I could do. Um, the base is just some cork, and then it has been dry brushed up through the greys. And there are some blood effects. And for the blood effects, I used, to see if you can come with me over here. We used this, and this is Green Stuff World Coagulated Blood. I used to use, uh, used to use this, Tamiya uh, Clear Red X27, but it's not quite the same. And it stinks. <laughs> the Tamiya clear paint stinks. So there you go. That's how we did the uh, blood effects on his base there. Um, use some teal tones to do the verdigris on the brass work and some rust tones there for the rusty rod. Look at my dirty finger. Why is it on these videos I always have a dirty finger? <laughs> and uh, same goes for the rest of the base. So really, it was just an exercise in plate plates. Why can't I talk today? I am absolutely tongue-tied. It seemed to be more of an exercise in painting black, uh, which I'm quite happy with, to be honest. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about his... Um, looks crystal, doesn't it? His knife there. I painted this... Um, just with like a dark cantal blue and worked my way up through the highlight layers and then realized I went from dark to light straight back to dark when what I should have done is gone from dark to light to dark so that's what gives it that weird 
sort of uh, cascading effect there. But it doesn't look terrible. It looks all right, I think. This is my first attempt at something like that. So yeah, you'll have to be gentle with me. Um, so anyway, after this guy, we have a Doom Warrior to show you. Um, also, there is a video of this guy showcased if you have a look through my videos. And uh, I would appreciate it if you like this video or subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you all again very soon. Thank you all very much for watching. And goodbye.